Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2020. And uh, we've had mixed results, and we're still on the edge of the playoffs. I feel like that's the same intro I've given for the last couple episodes, so not a lot has changed. I guess we kind of know about how good we are this season. We're edge of playoffs good, mixed results good. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the episode. So here we are. We've played four games since you last guys guys last saw me. Uh, we had a loss against Dag and Red, which is really, really rough. We actually drew them earlier in the season. Uh, and then we beat Chorley. Uh, and then we drew against Hartlepool and FC Halifax. Both of those were pretty tough results, to be to be honest. I mean, I, we really should have played better than both those games. Uh, but up next, we have a game against Barnet. They're currently third in the league. Um, they did beat us earlier in the season when we were at home. So this is an away game for us. It's going to be a tough game for us. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, here is the team that we're going to be taking to this game. We A little bit of mix around, a little bit of swapping. We've, we've had a few injuries, as you can see. Lopano, you know, Yates doesn't really play that much. Cohen's has been injured. Um, Lions, again, we haven't played him too much either. Uh, and then um, Hurst came back from an injury, so we're going to try and see if we can feature him a little bit. But overall, here's our team. we got Mundell Smith playing on the left-hand side. Garmston, honestly, just not playing well, quite frankly. Uh, and actually, I don't even want him on the bench right now. I want... Uh, let's bring... Pen... Pentney? I don't even know who Pentney is. Who is Pentney? Oh, he's one of our youngsters. I don't, I don't, I don't want him. Uh, let's bring... Uh, honestly, Birch didn't do terrible while he was on. We'll bring Birch in. Uh, so now we have Leek and Kerbush, uh, which is actually a duo we've had for a, uh, a long time ago. Uh, so we're going to bring them back in. Uh, partly because Lopano is injured and things like that. And of course, Mendel Smith's playing on the left-hand side. We're going to bring King in on the right-hand side. Uh, Neville not playing super, super well. We're going to see if King can do something here. He's being on one of our loanies. See if we can pull something out of somewhere. Uh, Lynch and Kuvlier are going to hold up the midfield. Kuvlier is starting to play a little bit better. Good to see. Hudson and Wellens playing up on the attacking sides. Unfortunately, Bancroft just not doing well. He's on a little bit of a slump as well. That's, that's kind of the story of our, our struggles. A couple of our guys who were playing well early in the season just started to just not play well all of a sudden. So we got Hudson Wellens, and then we got Campton Sturridge and Pennicott playing in their excuse me, striker roles uh, with uh, Hurst on the bench to come in for one of those guys, hopefully, uh, and make some sort of impact uh, as an impact sub. All right, let's get into this game. Come on, guys. Just do something good. I would love to see us. Honestly, I'd be happy with a draw against Barnett. Uh, away against Barnett, number three team in the league. I would probably be happy with us um, with us drawing against them. You know, I think that would be fine. We'll go see if we can avenge what happened last time. Hopefully that doesn't mean we get a red card in the first five seconds of the game. Looks like Ebb's fleet is starting to drop off quite heavily. Cheltenham is really starting to push up there. Billy Ricky, both those teams <laughs> that we've lost against. Uh, and then, of course, we beat Ebb's fleet twice. So I guess our two wins against Ebb's fleet were not as amazing as it looked like it was earlier in the season when uh, they were doing really, really well. Come on, guys. Do this. Uh, I got a throw in here from Barnett into Johnson. Johnson over to Fun Funguk. Uh, up to, I didn't see his name, uh, Vilhet. Vilhet? Over to Totonda. Oh, whew, that was a close one. That one probably should have gone into the back of the net. But thankfully, it did not. Come on, guys. Show a little bit of passion here. Got a corner kick here from Barnett. Thankfully, we were able to head that one out. Not far enough to really, truly clear it out, though. Looks like Barnett's going to have another chance at it. We got a little bit of a tackle. Almost got it tackled out of bounds, which would have been nice. Thankfully, Yates was able to grab that one. And no huge uh, danger there. Campton Sturridge pushing the ball up here. He's on his own, though, so he's got a lot of work to do by himself. He's going to try for a shot. I don't know if that was the wisest decision in the world or not, but, you know, it's something. Come on, guys. Let's do, let's do something really good here. All right, we've got a free kick here from Barnett. And over the net, thankfully nothing going there. And it looks like we're going to be drawing going into halftime. All right, like I said, I'd be happy with a draw, I think. I'm okay with that. You know, I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep up the draw. Draw against Barnett, number one team in the league, or was number one team in the league uh, like a week or so ago, currently number three team in the league. Um, they still have a chance to get promoted, so... Still a really, really good team. I'm okay with drawing. 
Excuse me. Uh, Barnett coming here on the attack now. Got it tackled away. Pennicut able to come up with that one. Over to Campton Sturz. Campton Sturz again, kind of out on his own. We got somebody in the mid midfield, though. Uh, is he going to be able to get it back inside? No, he's going to try to do it all himself. Unfortunately, again, not really the wisest decision for him to make in, at that point. So, yeah, not not much going there. Um, looks like Hudson's not playing too well. We're going to go ahead and give Bancroft another chance. We know Bancroft can play really, really well. So let's see what he can do here. Let's see if he can come on as an impact sub. And then we might actually bring Hurst on as well here in just a moment. Because honestly, Campton Sturridge also not playing super, super well. Um, yeah, let's bring let's bring Hurst on. We want to see what Hurst can do. We know he can play super, super well when he gets a mind to it. And he's coming back from an injury. We know he wants to show up and do something here. Uh, I might demand a little bit more. People are focused after that feedback. That's good to see. Uh, a couple of people are getting pretty tired, but they're playing well. So I really don't want to sub out the guys that are playing well and tired. Mundell Smith not playing super, super well. Let's bring on... I guess we could try Neville on the left-hand side over here. Come on, guys. Again, draw's okay. Would love to steal a win here, though. Hint, hint. Uh, we got a throw in here from Barnett. No, no, we don't want a highlight from Barnett. Oh, Wellens comes up with the ball, though. Is this going to be a highlight for us? Wellens pushing the... No, it's going to be a highlight for Bar. Oh, no. Nope. Wellens <laughs> went back and got it again after the tackle. Pennicut over to Hurst. Hurst, do something amazing here. Over to Wellens. Wellens on the right-hand side. He's going to be able to get it back inside. No, he's not. And then here comes Barnett. Looks like it might still be a highlight for Barnett, unfortunately, which would just be really sad to lose a minute left in the game. Come on, guys. Do something here. Oh, there's a good, good clear out there. Hurst is going to be able to chase this one down. I don't know if he's going to be able to do anything with it afterwards, though. No, he's not. He's going to get run out of bounds there. And so I thought that was going to be a red card. Mason Clark, thankfully, that was not too damaging. Yates with the ball. Is the highlight still continuing? This is getting a little scary if the highlight's going to continue. Bancroft over here on the left-hand side. We know he can do some amazing stuff. And he's just going to hold the ball up here, doing a whole lot of nothing. Over to Lynch, though. Lynch, what are you going to do with it? Back over to Kuvalier. Kuvalier up to Neville. Neville up to Hurst. Hurst gets tackled away. And here comes Barnett again. Leak in the area. Kuvalier in the area. Punt, Panicket. Going to get back to Kuvalier. Kuvalier, we're going to get it taken away from him as well. This highlight is continuing. This is getting kind of scary. I'm not liking it. Go away. Go away. Go away. Thankfully, that one went all over the bar. <laughs> oh, boy. And that should be the game. Draw game away from home. You know what? I think we can accept that. We got a point. Um, yeah, you know what? We got a point. We avoided defeat against a really, really good team. I think that's a really, really well played game. All right. Um, let's see here. Not scouting. I want to go to schedule. And we have Barrow coming up here in a couple days. So we'll be right back for that. All right, we're back for our game against Barrow here. We're having to do a little bit of rotation just from fatigue level and whatnot. Um, we got Lowey over here on the left-hand side. He's actually getting a little bit grumpy and up about not playing anyway, so figure we might as well bring him on. We got Kinsella, Leak, and Neville playing up on uh, the rest of the defensive sides. Hodnett and Rachi, so completely rotated midfield. I mean, Lynch is just at 89%, and then Kuvlier is at 82%, so really just not ready to play. Um a little bit scary. We'll see what they can do. Bancroft, Wellens, and Hudson holding up the attacking side. And then Campton Sturridge holding up the uh, striker role. And uh, we got Hurst, Pennicut on the bench. Got Lynch, Karmston. Karmston is still just not playing well. I'm pretty disappointed with Karmston this season. I was really, really hoping for a lot more from this guy who has uh, just had so much potential. So maybe he'll turn something around these last you know couple of months. But I'm just I'm not expecting much from him. All right, let's go, guys. Let's see if we can get us. Uh, I'd rather get a win on this game uh, than a draw, so I'm really hoping for that. And uh, yeah, let's expect nothing less than a win, guys. Nothing less than a win. I mean, if we deserve to be in the playoffs, we should be winning against teams like this. Uh, not to say that these guys are bad; they're currently tenth place. But um, I think we should we should we be we should be beating them if we deserve to be in the playoffs. All right. Oh, I thought we were going to get a red card already in the game. I was like, no. Free kick here from Barrow. Barry from Barrow. Close. That was a pretty, pretty solid hit. Uh, Yates was able to push that one out of bounds, though. We're going to get a corner kick here from Barrow, though. 
Heart Castle. Gets it inside. We're able to get a little bit of a header out there. Hudson's going to try and clear it out. Looks like it was cleared out enough to end the highlight. Thankfully, looks like Barrow's uninterested after the most recent feedback. That's, I guess, good to see. Come on, Rachi. Show us what you got. You and Hodnett. A couple new midfielders here. Uh, let's get a little few minutes of passion, maybe. Nope, nothing. Team's just like, eh, we're not passionate. We're just, we're just here. We exist. Neville, Lowey, both are very, as far as our wingers, both are very error prone today. We got Bancroft pushing the ball up. He really wants to try and prove himself again to be part of this. Campton Sturridge, I think he might have been offside. That was interesting. <laughs> I guess he wasn't offside. Um, let's watch that again. I was looking down at the bottom to see if he was offside or not, and then I didn't see what happened after that. So, Campton Sturridge kind of looked a little offside. Maybe they deflected it. But it looks like they just kind of just let it just sit there. Canton Sturge did not give up on the play. Got a ball in the back of the net. I will take it. All day, every day, I will take plays like that. Um, let me play some of how things are going. Let's keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Keep up with, uh, you know, taking advantage of them making some mistakes. I will gladly take that. All right, got the ball pushed up. Leak's coming up with the ball here. He's going to be able to get it up to Hudson on the right-hand side here. He's going to be able to get it back inside. He's got a couple guys in the middle he can try to get to. No, not able to get past the defender. Neville, though, is able to get it past the defender. Unfortunately, not able to get to the man. Uh, Wellens comes up with this one. Over to Hodnett. Hodnett trying to also prove himself. Hasn't gotten a lot of play time this season, but uh, he's trying to prove that he deserves to be here. Kinsella pushing the ball up to Campton Sturridge. Campton Sturridge going to try and do it all himself again, maybe. I don't know. He's got somebody over here on the right-hand side. Maybe is that Pinnock? That's not Pinnock. Who is that? Pinnock is not even in the game. Uh, he tries to go for it, and he does get pushed out. We are going to get a corner kick here. Corner kick coming in from Hudson. Hudson gets it in to nobody. Leak comes up with that one, though. Going to get it over to Hodnett. Hodnett to Wellens. Wellens gets it taken away almost. Hodnett comes up with it back. Uh, Bancroft coming back with it up to Hudson. Lots of, lots of kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Hudson comes up with this one. Gets it tackled away. Looks like it's going to be out of bounds. And it is going to be a throw in for us. And that's going to be the end of that highlight. So never mind. Just a couple more minutes and we'll do our first sub of the game. All right. So, yeah, go ahead and ease off tackles, please. First sub of the game. Uh, let's see. Lowey not playing well. Bancroft not playing well. We do have both Pennicut and Garmston. You know, we're going to give Garmston a chance. I really, really, really want to see him do something. So. We've actually seen him score a couple goals this season, so I mean, it's not like he's done terrible, terrible. Or has he only scored one? I forget exactly how many. I know he scored at least one. I thought he scored a second one as well, just to kind of surprise me a little bit. Uh, Wellen's getting a little bit tired, but he's also playing better than just about anybody else on the field right now. So we'll sub out Bancroft for Pennicut. We know Pennicut can play over there, and uh, should be all right. Could swap him to a target man, but we'll just we'll just leave him where he's at. Should be okay. All right, guys, come on. Couple more minutes. About 20 more minutes, maybe. Hold on to this. Hold on to this lead here, guys. Could swap it down away from a positive mentality. Uh, Captain Sturridge just showing that he's just oh man, he's just so good. He really is. He just doesn't give up on the play. He just he really just gets in there and just does what he needs to do. Captain Sturridge. Been a, definitely the signing. Uh was it this season or last season that we got him? But definitely. Just well worth whatever we whatever we're paying him. He's worth it. He's the one that's keeping us into this 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 season. He should break twenty goals this season, pretty hit, pretty easily, which is a pretty nice point to make. All right, we're gonna do our last sub here. Uh, Hudson and Wellens both really tired. Not really anybody to come in for either of them at the moment, though. Um, just don't really have anybody that can come in for anybody. We'll swap out Rachi, just bring on Lynch, just to just not have a, a red card, hopefully. And I'm actually going to go ahead and praise the boys. Five minutes left, two goals up. I mean, it might be a mistake, but I want to just give them some positive feedback, positive reinforcement when they're doing well. All right, Campton Sturridge trying to get his uh, hat trick, maybe? Oh, he goes for it. He wanted that one. 9.0 rating. That's a really good rating, buddy. Really good rating. 
Neville comes up with the ball, gets to Hudson. Hudson gets it back up to Neville. Neville going to try to get in position for somebody. Ooh, Wellens, that, not sure how he scored that one. But Wellens with his third goal of the season, which is surprising from a, a fairly attacking uh, position. He's only got three goals this season. But I guess it's just not in there for the goals. He's in there for the, the passing and the assists and things. I don't know how he got this one. That is a very, very tight angle with a goalkeeper kind of right in your face, quite frankly. But I will gladly take a 3 nothing win over Barrow. Barrow is not a bad team. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Good, good work. Passionately done. Very, very good win for the boys. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, Drew against uh, Barnett and a uh, win against Barrow. Pretty good results. You know, pretty good results. In fact, that puts us, what, five games without a loss. Uh, in fact, we've only lost one game in the last 10. So not not bad. We're starting to starting to get something. We're getting some points at least. Uh, so it is, it is a thing. Um, next game up, Woking's already, I think, relegated out of the league, if I remember correctly. So probably not even worth seeing, showing them. Solihull, Moor, Solihull Moors, 18th. Might have a little bit more to play for. Torquay, 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 however you say that. We beat them earlier in the season away from home. Um, Stockport 11th, York 17th. Really, none of these games down here are like super, super amazing. Probably what we'll do is we'll play the two home games. And then if it looks like we have like something to play for, uh, we might come back for the Stockport York game uh, setup as well. So we'll at least come back for these two. Hopefully we're still in the playoffs and we may we may just skip these and go straight into the playoffs or we'll, we'll see how things are. But we're going to play the Solo Hill Moors and the Torquay game and uh, hopefully uh, still continue on this run. Because if we continue on this run, we'll definitely be in the playoffs. Um, four points clear currently, but uh, here's hoping. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join again. Hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.